simplify for me to put on this extra component, which is a multi-tuff, which is a, a, another way of characterizing the molecular weight of a macromolecule. Okay? Multi-tuff is a matrix-assisted laser desorption and ionization, and the tuff means time of flight and the mass spectrometry. So it's a mass spectrometry based on the time of flight uh, and the, the, the time, the speed that they fly in this the, the, the mass spectrometer vacuum t uh, chamber uh, is a, is a, uh, there's a relationship for the, the molecular weight. And so this one uh, is a really the very powerful and uh, the one of the really uh, important aspect is this one is a very high speed analysis and you only need a very small amount of the samples so that therefore the, when you do the actual separation by HPLC, you can do the multi uh, as a characterization. This is actually a slide that I, I remember that Dr. Bay used to uh, show it to you in the introduction slide. Polymers, uh, just, I still get that one, so I want to show you that, refresh your memories. This is uh, one of the technique that, uh, essentially the mass spectrometry technique, you are essentially matrix assisted. You are mixing the polymer with uh, some sort of the dye they can be easily ionized. So upon you, uh, irradiation of the high power laser, the essential polymer molecules are charged and they can be quote unquote vaporized. And so then, then that is a principle that they are doing it. And if you find the right pair, and uh, you will get this uh, diagram. And the X axis is, is a M over Z, which is a mass for charge. And the Y axis is a signal. And uh, that's a signal of the uh, proportional to the, is actually is still on, on the debate. It's proportional to the essential charges, right? The, the detector only see the charge, the heat by the molecule. So it is a number fraction that is related to the, to the one. So it's not a weight fraction, but it's more likely the number fraction. But the, there's a still uh, also there is a, some kind of sensitivity transformation. So the multi tough is not a magic bullet. This one, this factor, the signal is not so well defined because of, there is a sensitivity factor for the, uh, generating the signal when the charged molecule hit by this. So here I have given you this, and you see that actually I want to emphasize. Uh, you see the elephant flying here? You see? Okay, so elephant is flying because of the, uh, you want to make this gigantic molecule, polymers, uh, wants to be <laughs> fly, want to fly. And normally they don't fly. They don't, they don't uh, vaporize. But if you're using this uh, matrix that this is all the acronyms, uh, you have to choose different combinations. And, and with a little bit of the, metal uh, cation agent, and uh, the matrix is about 100 to the 10,000 10, times to the, uh, to the polymers. If you mix this, and how you're mixing it is another art of this, by using the high power nitrogen lasers, and you shoot it, and then the things will come out from the surfaces, and whatever is come out, you can collect it to the mass spectrometry tube, and then see how, how much of the charge uh, to mass ratio can be uh, can be made, and this is a known as a soft ionization method, and it actually is not made for the polymer analysis, but actually uh, for the protein analysis and the oligonucleotide. These are the very easy to charge polymers or macromolecule, and the synthetic polymer community just uh, make it to push this technology for characterizing the polymers. For different ones. So some polymers are easy to be ionized, some polymers are hard to get ionized, and the easy one that to be ionized is actually, you see here, polyethylene glycol, right? Well, we also call it polyethylene oxide, and this is a very nicely, uh, can be charged, and then you can make this, and the equal spacing here is about 44 gram per mole, and uh, this is a really uh, nice uh, way to uh, accurately measure the molar mass. This is an absolute mass, and this is not a mass though, it is a mass per, uh, uh, mass per the, what do you call it, the ratio, uh, which is a, 
this is an m over z. Okay, so that's a, something that you should remember. So by shining the light uh, laser, things are vaporized and assisted by the matrix and then a uh, different kind of cationic agent, and different have uh, one is a different times to fly. So heavier one is a, uh, and the versus the lighter one, they have a time to uh, fly the speed. And this is a one, uh, one may, and uh, this is actually what is called a reflection mode is making this pass twice. So sometimes uh, this method enhances the, the separation and, and uh, uh, give you a better resolution of the sample. Sample, you don't need much, and uh, this is a very, very small amount of sample. You prepare the solutions and uh, prepare the ma uh, matrix, and then probably sometimes it's just a mixing is an art, how to have an optimum mixing of the matrix and the solvent to be deposited on the sample plate and uh, let it dry so that you can ready for the shooting the laser for the uh, uh, spectroscopy measurement, okay? I just wanted to show you the, uh, you don't have to remember the name, I just wanted to show you that this average chemical structure, it has a lot of conjugated double bonds and the, the, uh, and the, and the aromatic group, so the, it can be uh, essentially absorb the light very effectively, so that's what the function of the dyes do, and those are the typical uh, weak organic acid, they, uh, they have a very strong absorption of the light, and then this one, you know, that kind of nicely form the complex with the cation agent, and then you can essentially lift up the molecule together. Uh, one thing that you can think about, uh, now I hope you guys are understanding this, uh, all this uh, term uh, polymer, polydiamethylsiloxane, polybutadiene, this is a pretty much not so polar uh, molecule, everything is a carbon hydrogen base. Uh, PDMS is also, its own nature is very nonpolar. Uh, but if you go up there, uh, it's, uh, now it, things are start to be very uh, soluble, even soluble in the um, waters, okay? This is a, sort of the methacrylate has a ketone bonding or the ester bonding, so it's getting polar. So the polar it is, you, you are going to select the dye that is more polar. So you can, you can make things uh, together to find the one. So just only the problem of the, the multi top technique is we don't know which, uh, which matrix is going to work out. You just need to know, and this is actually, uh, you need to have a right cocktail of matrix and the cation agent and the solvent that you mix them together for the drying. And that's a really the cocktail, how to make a right cocktail for the, the multi uh experiment. And that has been the, what is called, the, not a realm of the science, but it's more like an area for the art. The rule of thumb is the polarity matching is a, is a thing, okay? So you want to be having a polymer that is a similar matching polarity, but at the, at the same time, it is a, you find an actual experiment. You cannot predict, you, you better actually looking at, at the people who has what they use, and the, for example here, okay, this, this is a dye, and then this is a cation agent, and you look for the, uh, the conditions, and then you do the experiment. Hopefully, uh, you can get this uh, result. And then the beauty is, it is an, uh, one of the absolute molecular weight characterization technique that you can possibly get. Okay, so I, I think that I went to the overtime. Uh,